This quick video is to demonstrate how you're supposed to do this lab using the tech. So to begin with, everything will be set up for you, except for what I show you, you'll need to know how to do, okay? So first of all, you need to rinse off the probe and distill water. Nothing goes into, I want to zero it in that, so don't take it out yet. Okay, you want to rinse that out, and you're going to have to, after it's been rinsed off, leave it in there, and you're going to want to zero the probe. And the way you do that is you click on sensor, and then zero. Select the sensor, it goes to zero. After that, then you want to pat the probe off. Then you're going to want to set up your sensor so that you're going to collect data. So here we go. Click on sensor. You have to do data collection. And you want to make sure, initially it, it, it should be set here, but if not, you need to make sure it's not time-based, but event with entry. And then you'll want to type the name of what it is you're taking samples of. In this case, the first thing you do is going to be tap water. And the unit you're going to use is drops. After that, oh, you also want to check the 10 seconds. You want to get an average. And click OK. At that point, you're ready to go. Note the negative 1.3. Remember it's zeroed out. Hmm. Yeah, it should be zeroed out. Well, okay, it was zeroed out in uh, distilled water, so we're still good. Got it? So, she's going to get a sample of, you got, you're gonna end up putting in 10 drops, but you put the probe in the water, and that should be continually being stirred. Do not touch the surface, but make sure, remember the video, it said to make sure that the probe is completely submerged where the opening was, okay? Okay, now, before, well, at this point, she's got that in there. It's acclimated, I suppose. We're gonna start collecting data. You have to hit the green arrow. I just wanted to zero it. I should have done that. I want to discard data that was there previously. Okay. Down here is a keep button. So when you're ready to take the data, right now we have no drops. We need a zero, zero, like we didn't add a drop. So we need to keep this. Okay, now it goes for 10 seconds. For that 10 seconds, you need to be stirring it. Okay, and once the 10 seconds is reached, then it's going to ask how many drops are in there. Well, we didn't put one drop initially. We want a zero mark, so we click on that, put a zero, and zero drops, hit okay. There's our first drop. Then she's gonna put in one drop of tap water. Make sure it's vertical. One drop, that's it. You gotta stir it around, make sure it's right. Mixed probes in there, make sure you're not touching anything. And that person just stirs and stirs and stirs. So when we think it's mixed pretty well, you get to keep it. Another 10 seconds again, you gotta wait 10 seconds. And you keep stirring making sure the probe's in the water. If you don't, you got a problem. Okay, we don't want zero. We put one drop in this time, right? So click on the one and hit okay. Now we got two drops. Hopefully there'll be a change as time goes on. You can see a drop down here where it was zero, zero. And now just with one drop of tap water, we've got a change, okay? So, 
We just keep repeating that. So she's gonna put in another drop. She's stirring, mixing it. And she just keeps stirring that. When you think it's mixed pretty well, then you keep it. You wait your 10 seconds again. Okay, it's now two drops. Okay, hit okay. Now we got three. Okay, you repeat this until you've got 10 drops. And you'll end up with 10 dots on the graph. Okay, so let's pretend we got the 10 for the sake of time. So you have to stop this. You hit the red button and pretending we have our 10 data points. We want to look at all the data points and we want to know what the numbers are. So to do that, you click on the data table and you'll see 10, oops, you'll see 10 dots there and there's your drops and there's your conductivity in micro siemens per centimeter. Are we clear? Right, so you're gonna do that for each solution. And when you're done, let's say you're done, you've written down your data. Remember that graphical analysis file, you might as well just type it right into there unless you're instructed to put it on a hard copy. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have it on a hard copy just in case you lose it. Or better still, the smart thing is take a picture of this data table right here. Just get your phone out and take a picture. I think 10 data points might get on there. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so we're done with this. And so you're gonna have to rinse off your probe for the next solution. With tap water first, shake it off good. And then you're going to bring it over to your distilled water, rinse it off well again and it wouldn't be a bad idea while you're in the tap water there to actually zero it out again i guess you really probably don't need to you zero it out once we're probably good for the day okay huh? so this is distilled water remember this big cup is only for one purpose to rinse it off before you go on to the next liquid do tap water first rinse it off here Make sure you dump this out completely. Wash it with soap and water. Okay. Rinse it out well. Dry all the liquid out of it with paper towel. Then you're going to go get more distilled water up to 80 milliliters, which is easy enough because the 80 millimeter mark is on that beaker, which you can see right there. She'll show it to me. Anyway, got it? There's the 80 mark. Got it? And do the cycle again. Get your next solution, which for today is going to be vinegar, and then it will be sugar. Also make sure, which we checked when we started, make sure that this is set at 200. Otherwise, this may not work out so well. So, one last thing. It went upside down on me. So, you have to reset this for the next solution, right? So, you go click on the meter icon. Yeah, click on it. It'll work. Come on, you can do it. You can, come on. There. And you're going to have to go back to sensors again. And you're going to have to data collection again. This time, we're not doing tap water we're going to do vinegar. So put V-I-N in there. Okay, put V-I-N and do okay. And repeat what you did before. Hopefully this helped. Have a good lab.